it just went so fast and the smoke was so thick and black I couldn't breathe. That's Charles Hodge talking about gasping for air and getting out of his Greenville home. Good evening, I'm Mandy Knoll. And I'm Dave Sess. He had just seconds to get out, barely time enough to grab his cell so he could call 911. Today, Charles took me inside of his home to show me the story of his escape and how this tragedy is just the latest situation in his life requiring a bounce back. It's our top story at six. This is where the smoke alarm was right here. Charles Hodge heard a blaring noise at 5 a.m. that woke him up. He takes a sleeping aid and would have never gotten out of bed without that alarm. Threw pants on, grabbed my shoes and my phone, and straight out the door I went. It was in a matter of five minutes. This whole thing was engulfed. If it was, if I'd have waited any longer or the smoke alarm didn't go off, I wouldn't have made it. I'd be dead. Charles also showed me all of the damage inside his home. A new sectional he made two payments on, gone. The kitchen, toast. Charred rubble everywhere, including the spot where the investigator traced the fire had started. Down to a power strip plugged in behind an entertainment center and against the uh, living room wall. Charles Hodge was renting, but had improved the flooring, drywall, and carpet inside with thoughts on buying the house. He was getting ready to fix the outside. All he has left now are some family photos which survived the fire protected inside a drawer. Charles has had his share of ups and downs. In August, he had a tumor removed from his throat. Now, this fire is just another situation calling for a personal bounce back. I'm tired of getting to that point where I got to start over, but somebody was watching out for me today. Yeah, they sure were. Greenville had another fire within the last week with a smoke alarm inside a home, but it had no batteries. Now, nobody was home there. That could have been disaster. Charles Hodge is getting help from the Red Cross to find a place to stay.